Well, you know, the the first miniatures you know that I've worked on, you know, and continued through my my career has always been effects miniatures, um, and I love you know have my model be blown up. I mean, uh, the worst part for me is is that when the explosion doesn't go off, you know, properly, and the whole thing gets destroyed, and I have to make a new one. You know, I want I want everything to work, and I want it to blow up right, and and everything, and that's that's a lot of fun. So yeah, this is the inter international tuna building. This is where the um, triggers that uh, foam explosion, where there's foam pouring over the top of this and out the windows, and the ostrich he comes jumping off the roof or something with the ostrich. Fairly large scale miniature down at Boss Films. Uh, Thane Morris was the effects supervisor on it. It's just basically you know uh, wood construction. All this was uh, neon. And uh, we had two complete sets of this neon, and we had them out over on the stage overnight. And um, the next morning we came in, and someone walked completely through the center of these. And we had to rebuild all the all the neon and the lead. It's all lead here, so um, it was <laughs> definitely dis disheartening to walk in and find out that someone walked through an area that was protected. They did it. No one ever, no one ever copped to, to doing whatever they did. At Boss, Mark Stetson, fabulous fellow. I, I'm, I also build models, too, but he pressed me into places I didn't feel confident in and showed me that I could do it. He was really good at that. It's something I'll never, I'll, I, I'll always remember for him. He pushed me in the ears going like, how do I do that, Mark? And you can do it, Bruce. Here, you have to get me started and build some more. So he, 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 he pushed me, and at one point, uh, he used me as his painter often as well, and we were doing a TV series called Highwaymen. Thank you. It was a, an 18-wheel truck, and it had a helicopter that popped out, and they got to run around and chase bad guys. I know what it was supposed to do with them in a helicopter. It wasn't a gunship, you know. Aristotle blow you to hell. I mean, it wasn't that. But we had to make a model of this helicopter that come out of this truck, and we had been cranking on this thing several weeks. Gene Rizzardi was there. It was a Sunday. We worked straight without a break. It was Sunday now. I'm there basically, get some details, and I'm there. I'm going to paint it. It's got to get shot Monday morning, tomorrow. It's 7 o'clock, and they goes, okay, Bruce, it's yours. It's already been a 14-hour every day till Sunday, you know, like, oh, great. I mean, I'm, I'm tired. And it's 7 o'clock, and um, Stetson says, you know, why don't, why, don't, why don't we feed you? Whatever, you know, there's Taco Bells in the corner, just give me some Taco Bells. And, you know, I just better get at this. You know? And he made a brilliant suggestion at this point. I, the, the, the guy's good. And he goes, no, we're going out to dinner. Come on, get your hat. Let's go to dinner. Okay, because just me and him now. Everybody that I realized got, got cut, cut loose. We go to a restaurant, sit down, and I had a fabulous meal. Oh, it was I don't know what I ate, but it was delicious. And we came back, and I was re-energized. Re because if I had just stayed there and continued on, I was just going to, you know, drop. And I think he saw that. And he says, i I got to keep this guy alive. Because <laughs> he's got to get this model painted or I'm cooked. You know, i gotta, I got a camera crew tomorrow morning. So I painted this thing. And I was feeling fine. I, I was up. That was a good job. And I got this thing done about one thirty in the morning. Mark says, it looks great. I think we're done, Bruce. Okay, fine. 